Hey there, I'm Hugo Ferreira from Tech Corner TV and today for my review I have here the Corad KIA 3005D. It's a very reliable bench power supply adjustable and yeah, I will open it to see what's inside and I will show you all the features. But first let me tell you that I will offer this power supply to one of the channel subscribers. So if you are interested in winning this power supply, keep watching and I will tell you how. Right now it's time, let's jump into it. Okay, so as usual, let's start by showing what came in the box. We have a power supply, uh, this one is European connector. So we also have in the box, it was delivered, um, a cable with bananas on one side and crocodile clips on the other, so you can connect to the, to the power supply. And also in the box we have another two cables with a U crimped uh, and and crocodile clips on the other side yeah so you can connect like this yeah let me show you okay and this one is a little bit weird because it will not connect on the plugs of the power supply but we have some test leads also delivered uh, they are quite pointy, yeah, it's almost a needle. And I don't know why this came in the power supply, because it's not possible to connect this to the, to the power supply. Uh, even so, I will include this uh, and I will send it to the lucky guy or girl that uh, may win the, this giveaway. And for last, we have also a manual and uh, a welcome card. Uh, the manual, uh, yeah, it's rubbish because it's all in Chinese. I saw uh, a review of this made by the Crocodile Dave from Australia, Dave Jones from EEV blog. Uh, and it was in 2012, uh, eight year, eight, no, nine years ago, and it was already in Chinese. From that uh, date to now, they shouldn't already include the, the English manual. But anyway, you have here all the specifications and everything, but it's Chinese. Uh, so yeah, no, no good. But you, I already checked, but you can download uh, an English version of the manual directly online from the, the Corad website. I will leave the link below so you can check it out, okay? So that's it, what is included in the, in the box. Uh, so... Right now, uh, I will do a fast uh, forward and uh, removing the screws and opening this so we can do a little tear down uh, to see what's in it. Okay, we already have here the power supply open. Uh, it has essentially four main areas. This one, as I already explained, doesn't have the electronics. Uh, if I didn't explain already, uh, I'm telling you right now. There is a model uh, that has the USB connection and that model has in this place let me show you in this place uh, electronics for for that controller so this model has only four 
main areas you have the power entrance here it goes by these cables until the this uh, switch on the switch it will deliver the power to the uh, transformer the transformer will deliver the power to this uh, main uh, this main board here and this main board will deliver the power to the front of the power supply by these two cables. It is fairly well organized. And yeah, you can see here, uh, we have here, let me just move the lights a bit so it will be better. Yeah, you have here three big MOSFETs and a small one there. And yeah, you have also a kick-ass condenser here it is rated 105 celsius degree uh, 63 volts uh, the the older uh, power supplies this condenser it, it was 85 uh, 85 um, degrees it is rated 85 degrees this one it's more uh, it it is uh, able to handle more heat it is well connected to the earth you have here one connection and you have one on the other side here so it is fairly good uh, connected to the earth uh, and this one in the front you have two piece two main boards i will not disassemble this uh, power supply uh, if you want to see a, a better tear down you have the crocodile dave jones from the EEEV blog, he made a teardown in 2012, uh, 2012, and you can see he, he is a ninja in electronics and he knows, um, well, uh, a world more than I do, and yeah, it will be nice to see that video also. And you have here a main board, and the other one here, it is connected by, uh, by some pins directly, and yeah, it seems okay. Uh, the 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 main board here, uh, it's uh, the heat. It's dissipated by this um, heat heat uh, sink. It's a, a, a little bit bigger than the one that uh, Dave Jones uh, had on his bench when he did the teardown and yeah yeah so this this uh, inclination it's it's here from the beginning in the it was never corrected it's it's from the beginning it's a little bit weird but yeah it's from the beginning here and yeah nothing much you have a kick-ass condenser here uh, a very big um, power transformer here also and yeah nothing real it's it's quite simple it's it's heavy and it's resistant yeah very nice i will close now and i will show you how it works Okay, let me show you how the power supply works. Let me start by showing the the back. Uh, you have in the back the power connector, power socket. In this small area, you will ha you have a three amps uh, fuse. Let me turn around and connect the power. Okay. It will be easier to show you. Uh, so we have here the displays. We have here the memory LED uh, indicator. Over uh, over voltage protection, over current protection, uh, overload current protection, e overload uh, voltage protection. And you, you will have here the CC, the CV, current voltage, uh, 
current and voltage output and when the output is connected you have the, those lights uh, turned on or powered on. Uh, you have here the knob for adjustment. You have the, the cursor to the left and to the right buttons. Voltage and current alternate button. You have here the memory buttons, uh, the lock button. Uh, the lock button works if you want. For example, if you press, you will change the values of the memory. But if you press the, the lock until you hear the beep, now you can press everywhere and nothing happens. It is locked. You press again, you have the beep, and now you can work again with the power supply. So you have here the overload current protection button. Yeah, it turns, it powers on, and overload voltage protection. And over here you have the on and off button. Okay. So every time you do a memory change, for example, we have this in 5 volts. Now it's on the output, but if you change the memory, it will disconnect the output. Uh, that happens only when using memory. If you are with output connected or powered on and you decide to change the voltage, it will not uh, disable the output. Okay. The maximum output is 31 volts and the minimum is, uh, I believe, let me see, yeah, yeah, point zero one volt, okay, let me just put this on zero. With the cursors, you change the position where you want to to work. Okay. To memorize, uh, let me turn this off. Uh, to memorize the um, these on a channel, you just have to press a few seconds. Okay, that's it, and it's memorized. Really easy. Okay. And yeah, that's it. Pretty simple to work. Uh, one of the reasons I chose this power supply, uh, it's because you have the heart connector. The heart connector is very useful and you should always use it uh, when working with, uh, well, uh, with power supplies and electronics if you have a ground connector uh, connected to here. You have the common, obviously, and you have the, the line uh, the, that has the energy. Uh, okay, let me just connect this to the, to the siglent. Let me just bring this up. I have here a small problem. Yeah, but I think that will be enough. And I will connect this here and let's see how reliable is the, the signal. Okay, we have the power off right now. I don't know, it always detects some millivolts when the power is off. It's pretty weird. And yeah, so right now we have 15 volts here and we have 14993. It's pretty accept acceptable and yeah, it's it's okay. If we change this to 5 volts, it will give you 499.88. Yeah, it has a little more difference. And let me check on lower voltage. Yeah, it has a, a little bit difference there. Okay, so 12 volts. 
this is this is the Siglent. It is a pretty reliable uh, bench multimeter, and yeah, uh, yeah, it's it has a little difference, but anyway, it I think it's it's quite okay. Um, even so, it's between the 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 limits almost. This one, it's a little. It's a little big. This this difference. I don't know why. Ah, sorry, my my bad. It's a, it is 12, but it's not connected. It's that energy. So it's 11, 999. Yeah, it's pretty near the 12 volts we have here. This is between the 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 limits of the manufacturer. Let me just connect this to my Rigel. And to compare the precision, okay, let me just, okay, let me put here 12 volts, uh, something like 1 amp, and connect this. Yeah, we have uh, two more here on my uh, power supply so as you can see this one it's pretty good uh, it will it is a very nice uh, business okay that's it let's wrap this up and yeah so now you ask so Hugo what do you think about the power supply well I must say that this power supply it seems pretty good. It's it's cheap. It's accessible. Uh, I will not use the term cheap because it's economic and very accessible. And yeah, you will be very well served with this power supply. You have 30 volts in 5 amps uh, support. You have memories to to work and even uh, overload current protection or overload voltage protection, as I show you before. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, you have also uh, a model, uh, a superior model, that has connection for the PC, uh, which is very interesting for several projects. And yeah, a few more bucks. I didn't buy that one f because I was distracted, because if I, I notice that uh, detail, I will buy with the uh, electronics models the USB connection to the PC. So, uh, I told you in the beginning of this video that I will offer this unit, I will give away this unit in a sweepstake. And as I did for the FNI RSI 1014D oscilloscope that I'm right now uh, giving away, I will do a video with all the instructions for this uh, sweepstake. So stay alert because in the beginning of June you will have a video with everything you need to know about the sweepstakes to win this power supply. You will not have to do nothing special, just subscribe the channel and eventually uh, comment on one or two videos like I did on the oscilloscope giveaway. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you consider this video useful, please subscribe. Uh, it will be very important to, to me. And if you like the content, don't forget, give a thumbs up. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching until the end. And I hope to see you in my next video.